You would think to be on a district health board, you would want to have a little knowledge of maybe health or at least be willing to accept the guidance from actual health experts. Turns out that's not necessarily the case. For example, take a look at the social media posts of Vicki Purdy. She represents Adams County on the board of Southwest District Health. Several postings about masks and questioning their effectiveness, among other things. Those comments have people and us questioning the qualifications it takes to get onto a public health board. Joe Paris spoke with Southwest District Health about that and the comments Purdy posted online. In the midst of a pandemic, there is a hyper focus on district health boards and their decision making. Many people are now asking who is on these boards and why? They're appointed by the Board of Commissioners. There isn't necessarily a qualification that the board um, the, the board members have to meet. Nikki Zog, director of Southwest District Health, explains that individual counties in a district each send one person to serve on the board. That person is almost always a county commissioner. We have a seven member board. It's made up of six county commissioners from each of the six counties that make up District 3 or a, their appointed representative and then a physician representative. Like the other health districts in Idaho, Southwest District Health is charged with making tough decisions. Recently, the conversation is centered on if health districts will mandate masks here in Idaho. Now, Southwest District Health has not done that, but these comments from health board member Vicki Purdy have some posting online and others emailing the health board that she should resign. In a post on her personal Facebook page, Purdy writes in part, a mask was designed to keep bacteria from wounds it is not designed to keep the particles of a virus from reaching out to you. Another post she writes in part, face masks are political and have been used by the CDC as such from the beginning of this lie of a pandemic. We have a virus just like any other virus. Director Zog says the guidance from their board as a whole remains pro mask. So our current gu guidance right now is uh, to wear a face covering or a mask anytime that you're in a, in a, a space where physical distancing um, or social distancing is difficult to maintain in public spaces outside of, outside of your household. Purdy is an Adams County Commissioner that was appointed to the board. While we don't necessarily, and from the district's perspective, agree with maybe some of the comments that have been made, uh, again, she represents a specific view to our board. On calls to remove Purdy from the board, Zong says it is a unique situation. That would have to be, I think, talked through by board members or board of commissioners that make up the, um, the counties that represent Southwest District Health. Again, Southwest District Health asks that people wear a face covering while out in public in situations that physical distancing is difficult. Her perspective is clearly different on that uh, and that is okay. But um, again, she is that's one person's view on our seven member board.